also one of a very major question that a woman goes through during her you know menstruation days is having a uh, dealing with uh, acne and pimples so you know before they get their periods or during their period stage they have to face those uh, you know pimples and zits and acne so why does it i mean why does that happens and how should they deal with that problem there's actually uh, how i mean in school and colleges it will be like listen i'm getting the pimple that means i'll get my period soon yeah exactly that is so common so it's as i told you the second half of the period has progesterone and in this progesterone there is lot of um, oil sebum release from these small small hair follicle glands will be there uh, so mm-hmm. uh, it keep our skin moist because it, they okay. don't they have a small oil secretion which is happening that's how if we wash our face in the morning by evening again it will become little little sticky it's because of that natural oil so mm-hmm. with this progesterone hormone there will be little more sebum production and by chance um if it gets infected if that thing gets infected then that will form a pimple so okay protection is more for everyone but uh, how we maintain our face like that we can control the pimples by uh, by uh, doing an oil control and there are actually few diets which help in decreasing oil uh, secretion in the glands if we uh, if we go on more of less fatty food more on easily digestible food they they also help on inbuilt oil uh, decrease oil secretion which will help but mm-hmm. in the condition like pcos and all where a little male uh, hormone testosterone is more so they that in that case the acne ka uh, problem is completely different it's not like a natural what we are telling before period uh, how we get it's not that that's again to be dealt differently it is more of imbalanced hormones so we have to deal that in a different way but in this there will be one small pimple also maybe there which we can't avoid also sometime how much ever mm-hmm. you and all we just can't uh, leave that pimple it has to come and go so pimple is kind of it's not a myth it's because of the progesterone hormone again uh, where people will have but not too much just one or two will pop up just before the periods and they slowly reduce okay so i i mean with the period getting over the pimple will also go yeah and generally as we grow old uh, when the periods are more set you know the pimple issue also will uh, reduce it's okay. more in adolescents uh, than in uh, 25 plus like that we hardly see anyone with, without pcos having pimples okay so with pcos it's a different story so more we see adolescent girls having pimple because they are having little bit hormonal issues they are they are still supposed to get adjusted so mm-hmm. they have a little more pimples yeah okay okay got it got it so uh, my last question to you is uh, before i let you go my last question to you is you know um, how should a woman keep her hygiene during her menstruation days and how should she maintain her hygiene and also how excuse me how often should she uh, change her sanitary napkins in a day so um coming to uh, vulval hygiene which is perineum <coughs> hygiene uh, not just during periods a girl should maintain it uh, throughout uh, the month so um uh, there is a specific ph which is maintained uh, around the vagina and the vulva and it has natural bacteria present which are good bacteria so which are protecting uh, our body and preventing infection so we are not supposed to wash it with regular soap there mm-hmm. are exclusive veg- uh, vulval washes perineal washes which we have to use it uh, just once a day not mm-hmm. every time we use the restroom it's just once a day during the bath and only mm-hmm. on surface no vaginal douching vaginal douching is a no no at any point of time uh, so because vagina has its own way of cleaning that's a different story so coming to uh, menstruation time we have to change uh, menstru- um, sanitary napkins once in 8 hours at least if the flow is not too much if the flow is too much we'll change it early but once in 8 hours is something which is good a change of napkin so at least 3 to 4 times in a day is good and okay. if the man is using tampons then she is supposed to change maybe once in 4 to 6 hours maximum 8 hours but not beyond it even in the night she is supposed to uh, if uh, the night is going too long if she is sleeping for too long she has to get up and change or shift to pads Okay. Can't use with the tampon for beyond eight hours. That's maximum. Okay. Four to six hours is good. 
and if they are using menstrual cups then twice a day is uh, good enough depending on their flow anyways menstrual cup they hold uh, uh, 30 ml of blood so it's fine they can uh, depending on how their flow is they can uh, uh, decide on changing if 12 hourly or maybe little bit before for just those first two days when they have their uh, periods heavy mm-hmm. and during uh, the uh, perineal hygiene wise it's same like other days just wash the perineum with water not with detol not with uh, soap uh, nothing else and once a day uh, using those uh, perineal washes which maintain the ph it should be acidic so that there won't be uh, much of bacterial invasion because when periods are there it will become alkaline mm-hmm. make it more acidic uh, mm-hmm. so uh, it's um, the risk of uh, infections will be more during periods that's how the term menstrual hygiene has come into action so mm-hmm. we're supposed to just keep ourselves clean just with water that's mm-hmm. it Not once a day okay nail washes and uh, um, we have to continuously change the sanitary uh, whichever product we are using okay but in these three products you know menstrual cup tampons and sanitary napkins which is the best product that you would like to recommend to your you know our patients or the women it's definitely a menstrual cup i use okay. it i tell everyone just go with the menstrual cup uh, because um, uh, i mean one thing is the sanitary pads are more of uh, um uh, plastic. I, I, yeah plastic because uh, they they are they give that dry feel uh, that dry feel comes only with that uh, gel which is uh, almost a little it has a plastic component and they are not biodegradable there are different biodegradable uh, pads which are getting those okay. are completely little better uh, than these normal what we uh, uh, more commonly available in the um, pharmacies and the supermarkets so mm-hmm. uh, and uh, tampons are okay but uh, they are almost same like uh, um, pads it's nothing much different uh, in both of them unless and until we go for more biodegradable stuff Mm-hmm. uh a menstrual cup is more of like an inert material it's made up of silicon so it's inert it is if we use it properly maintain it properly it comes till 10 years of our life that's like we are changing we are, we are saving tons of uh, waste yeah uh, so um but is it comfortable in comparison to other okay it is definitely comfortable but only thing is we have to get used to it Okay. so it will it, any for anything like how when a girl first gets uh, her period she finds it just not comfortable she was happy before it yeah. but now with her period she has to deal with it so it's just the same way it will take uh, two three cycles for a woman okay. to how to insert it how get to used to it how to clean it and everything once mm-hmm. she get used to it then then she'll feel that's the best thing because they, they don't okay. have that dry rash which they have with sanitary pads because it's inside the vagina it's mm-hmm. not um, it's not absorbing that moisture of the perineum it's leaving the um, it's not it's not making it too dry and rough yeah. and uh, there is no fragrance induced pads i mean there's nothing like that in menstrual cup so mm-hmm. there is no perineal irritation no dryness no redness no itching nothing so uh, if they get used to menstrual cup then that's the best And what about tampons? Tampons are same, not biodegradable. Uh, biodegradable, same thing. It's just that um, uh, uh, it's just that it is better. Some people because they exercise, they go for swimming and all. They find tampons comfortable. Traveling and all, they find easy to dispose. Also, uh, mm-hmm. tampons and sanitary napkins. There's not much difference. It's the same thing. And okay. we uh, they can't forget the tampons sanitary pads are safe you know you can see them tampons are something which you can't forget inside the body <laughs> that will cause like severe infection toxic shock syndrome it's better and we have to change them frequently four to six hours yeah, yeah so no, tampons are uh, some people prefer it for easy uh, lifestyle that's it okay so i mean if it comes to you i mean you would suggest So it's better to uh, switch to menstrual cup than Every tampon. Month. Yeah, okay. everyone. Thank you so much, Dr. Malvika. Thank you so much for coming to Escape TV. Thank you.